Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here, here with a video featuring the Tier 10 Japanese battle cruiser, the Bungo. But before we get into the video, just a quick reminder that I will be live streaming right here tonight on the channel and on Twitch around 5 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Until actually, we'll probably start around like 3 p.m. U.S. Central Time and stream until about six or seven. That seemed to work out well last time. So make sure you come out. For the stream here on YouTube and on Twitch. But anyway, into the video. So this is a live reaction replay. If you guys have never been around for one of these, I am watching this, well, live. I am watching Brusky's Bungo slowly creep up to 14 knots. Meaning that I have no idea what happens in this video and you guys get my genuine live reaction to whatever type of chaos goes on in the background. Now, all I know about this video is that, uh, well, Bruska sent me an email saying, hey, think you really want to watch this. I saw it had Bungo in the title, and I liked the Bungo, so I thought, all right, I'll watch it. So, yeah, I mean, typically with these live reaction videos, I do sometimes do two or three at a time, because I don't know what happens. Sometimes they're not great, sometimes they are. So, if this video is going up on the channel, there's a pretty good chance you want to stick around for it. So, the Bungo, the Tier 10 Japanese Battle Cruiser, she is equipped with uh, 10 457 millimeter guns. That's a lot of firepower to have on a Tier 10 ship. Now, they are, well, the AP is a little weird. From my experience with them, especially with like the, um, oh, what's the tier 8? I can't remember the name of it, the, the Yamashira, whatever. The tier 8's not great. The tier 9, the other tower, is a little bit better because she does have 457s. And the Bungo with 10 457s, the weirdness of the AP shell kind of doesn't matter anymore because the shell's so big, you can, well, I thought he was going to slap the Baltimore there, trying to time that pretty well. But yeah, it's got a pretty heavy broadside. It's really great for clapping uh, cruisers that goof up and show you their side, or any ships that really goof up and show you the side, like this key is doing right now. Now, of course, the Bungo is a battle cruiser, so she is a bit uh, weak when it comes to the tanking department. Uh, that's actually pretty good dispersion there. It is a key, chunky target, and ah, uh, too high. Get some overpins to the superstructure. But yeah, it is a battle cruiser, so she's low on the HP, 82,000 HP. That's very low for a tier 10. Uh, battleship and the armor is of course well thinner at the bows and at the stern so it does get overmatched by the common battleship guns of tier 10 it's not that fast either even though it is a battle cruiser only goes 31 knots so there's that but the bungo does also have this really neat spotter plane that you see in the toolbar down below and in the y slot it gives you a 20 percent boost to the dispersion so for essentially one or two shots you get some really nice dispersion. Enemy Benham is the first ship to fall this match. So you can, you know, imagine that boost to your dispersion with the large caliber guns and large number of large caliber guns. The ship does pack quite the punch. And, uh, well, it's pretty good at what, well, he's doing right now with it. He's just kind of sitting in the back waiting to see what's happening, waiting to see if there's any cruisers that are going to slip up and show up broadside. You really don't want to be toward the front of the action in the bungo if you don't have to be. So if these op early, uh, you know, opening minutes, you know, definitely hanging back is a pretty good way to go. Pretty decent dispersion there, and Baltimore's turning out. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. 27k there to the Baltimore. One Citadel, two normal pins, an overpin, and a bounce on the Baltimore. Uh, the Edinburgh does take out the Shimakaze, but the Shimakaze does take out the GK on his way out. I think Brusky's going to have this Baltimore here. He's forced to out because of the island. Let's the shells fly. A little bit of lag there. And this should be a dead Baltimore, methinks. I mean, he's got to be doomed, right? Right, there we go. Citadel for 70, what was that, 7,900 damage. All right, so he's dead. Uh, but the Marceau does take out the friendly Edinburgh. So enemy team's down two DDs and a cruiser. Friendly team's down, down, uh, down one battleship and one... Ooh, look at that Ohio broadside. Let's see if it, if it works. Uh, it looks like the Ohio started to speed up. I mean, 25 kilometers, that's quite a distance to travel. Let's see if it does pay off for him. Though he should still at least sta uh, tap his stern a little bit. Uh, yeah, there you go. Three pins. Gets about the 50k. Nothing too crazy, but a pretty solid hit there on the Ohio. 
Right, Key's still milling about the A cap. Uh, Filling team does have the A and the C cap, though. They're ahead by about 10 points at this moment. Enemy team does firmly have the B cap that Jaeger doesn't really want to go in there with the Marceau. Can't really blame him. Key out here is burning down quite nicely, though. Akazuki's at half health, getting into the A cap. Marseille is, for some reason, trying to bow tank, which isn't really what you want to do in the Marseille. Pops his special spotter plane, was it's like uh, improved aiming optics, and look at that dispersion. That's a dead key right here. Or not, that's cool. RNG can still tell you no, even though you have the gimmicky uh, plane up. But it does stay up for quite some time, as you can see. Still has a minute and change on the run time of that plane. So he could get a nice follow-up shot here. On the Yo oh, come on. Yodo's made out of tissue paper. Blast him. Gives him a little bit more lead. The Yodo is looking like he's turning out, though. The Yodo is also very maneuverable. Oh no, he didn't turn out. He's still going straight, relatively. Uh, now he's turning out. Is it enough to save him? Oh, it is enough just to save him from getting absolutely clapped. Does lose about, lose about 11k for that maneuver there. But man, that could have been. That should have been so much more. Really, it's a little bit higher. Probably would have gotten with some Citadel hits. Marseille. That's not how you play Marseille. Bow into the enemy team. Um, no. Supposed to use the ship's maneuverability and speed to zip around the map, not sit there bow in to the enemy team. It right, does get a salvo out there with the plane still up, so this should be some nice dispersion. And it does look good. Oh, a little bit too, too, uh, too, too. What was what the word? What is the word I'm looking for? Shot a little bit high there. That's what I'm looking for. Marseille did Marseille things and changed speed and surged forward a little bit, putting his shots landing behind him. Uh, Yodo's pushing back up, and that is the Akazuki. Very angry Akazuki in the cap. Um, things are looking pretty decent for the for the friendly team right now. Only down two ships to enemies four, up by over 100 points at this time. But they are losing the A cap to the Akazuki. That is just uh, deciding he wants to fight the world. Ah, oh, but the Marseille does take the Hindenburg uh, down. And a little bit, ah, uh, there we go. A little bit better hit on the Marseille there for 17k. So the Marseille's finally deciding to move. He is pushing up, though, to the corner. He thinks he's a Salem or a Masva, which he's not. He's also firing HE at a broadside battle cruiser. That's not optimal. You know, you wouldn't be using your AP at this point. But yeah, um,. This is why you don't just sit there in a Marseille, because you just get the crap slapped out of you, like what's about to happen here. Yep, there we go. 15k to the Marseille. That's uh, about a third of his remaining HP. He's still HE spamming. My god, dude, you have some wonderful AP in those guns. Hit the 2 key every now and then. Uh, a cap has been lost, though. Uh, friendly team is still up at this, at this time by 7 points. Six, well, by uh, 3 points now. Uh, they are losing the C cap. Friendly team still has the ship advantage on the enemy team. They're three to four right now. Gets one pit on that Marseille, unfortunately. Jaeger looks like he's pulling a little sneaky maneuver. He's going around the island at E3 to get a surprise a dingle on the Marseille. Oh, hi, Nebraska. What's the Nebraska doing back here? <laughs> My guy, a carrier you are not. Are his planes even up? Okay, no, he is firing at least. H. E. Okay. What's he even firing? Th those were not locked on. Look how bad that dispersion was. All right, gets another salvo out at the Marseille. Uh, I su that I suspect that may be a bot in Nebraska. Methinks. Uh, I don't know what else you know you'd be doing back here. I mean, you know the uh, oh the the Jaeger did get the Akazuki though. That's funny. Um, the hybrid American battleship player does oftentimes think he is, in fact, a aircraft carrier when he is not. It's a battleship with a flight deck, not a CV with some guns. All right, Marseille launches the um, spotter aircraft. Not sure if he got that out before he fired, but good hit on the Marseille, though. 19k there. Nice. All right, I'm going to shoot. Enemy team's down to half their ships now. Now, at this point, they do have all the caps, though, and we did just lose the Jaeger. So, but I mean, like, friendly teams got what? Uh, they get the down four, enemy teams down six. They, they got a two ship advantage at this moment. And the friendly team still has most of the DDs intact, unlike the enemy team. All right. And. Yeah, over pit on the Marseille. I was hoping that would be the end of the Marseille there. Um, but I mean, looks like the enemy team, they're getting their act together at sea. You've got the Thunder, Ohio, and the Berdizzi there with the Marceau. Um. Mm. I would not be one to pu push into that group of ships over at sea. 
especially a Thunder and an Ohio, that that's just pain. But we'll see. They do have a friend in the Ohio over there, so maybe he can uh, cancel out the enemy Ohio. But again, we'll see what happens. 10k to the Marseille. He's down to 11k now, so one more salary he should be dead. Um, we are up to 138,000 here with Brusky. Marseille is still spamming HE. I mean, it's starting fires, yeah, but I mean, the AP is so much better. Marceau does take out the Zhao. Alright, so the ship advantage is closing. We are taking the A cap back and the C cap back as well. Let's see if that continues. The enemy team is up by uh, ooh, by even more now. There goes the friendly Ohio. That's not good. Now the friendly team is down with uh, ships. And the Nebraska is still chilling on the I line. He really likes I1 for some reason. Yoda just ate a crap ton of damage there from someone. Maybe they lost. Maybe that was the Nebraska. Maybe he is doing something. I doubt it, because it looks like he's still spamming HD for some reason. Mm. Okay, so how quickly the tide turns here. Friendly team's now down by almost 400 points. They're down on ships and caps. Look how quickly that turns, fellas. Yodo, though, he's still trying to run away. Marseille at 8k. Who's he going to shoot first? I'd be tempted to shoot the Yodo just because I can get all my guns on him right now. But you do want to finish off the Marseille. Oh, and he got the Yodo in a turn. So let's see what happens here. Is this a dead Yodo? Dead Yodo. Dead Yodo. Yeah. yeah. There we go. 21k to the Yodo. Very nice. All right. Marseille is healing a bit. He's at the 17k now. He's still spamming HE. I mean, like, I get that, you know, the Bungo's in a battleship slot, but buddy, 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 that French AP would, you know, especially with the angle that he's being given here from the Bungo, you can easily rip the Bow of the Stern or the Superstructure for a nice bit of damage, but... Dude's just, um, dude's just chilling with HE for some reason. And again, it is starting fires, but I mean, he's not winning the gunfight. All right, the A and B caps have been resecured by the friendly team, but the issue is, um, you got an L Bing in the middle, the Alaska and the Trump and Brusky here and, and the Bungo are all on the A side of the map, and they gotta get over to the eastern side, and uh, Big Daddy 819 is just chilling in the back for some reason. Again, I don't... Okay, his planes are up, though. His planes are up. Okay, so let's see what he does here. Um, I mean, like... <laughs> uh, hiding that far back with American battleship guns, my guy. That It, it just it's just ain't, ain't gonna work for you. I... Was that the Elbings shells out on the Marseille? Or was that, that was probably the Alaska. Alright, Brusky's getting fed up with the uh, Nebraska back here. Marseille is so low... He did turn out to avoid the shells. I think that might be from the Elbing. I don't think the Elbing's being that much of a Chad and he's just open water gunboating or Marseille. Could be from the Alaska. Alright. Dead Marseille. Dead Marseille. Up to 170k damage done so far. Two kills. Perhaps a third kill here. If these Elbing or Alaska shells don't kill him, which they did not, and boink. There's kill number three. For 174,000 damage. We're now up on ships. But the friendly team is still down almost 140 points at this moment in time. Elbing does secure the Marceau, though, so we got that going for us. Ooh, look at this Thunderer. I, ooh, ship that, um, I, I'm not that big of a fan of. I mean, it's, you know, argue, argumentatively, it's like the best ship in the game. It was a little broken for some time, and, um, I called it broken back when it was super popular, and that wasn't the popular take back in the day. But yeah, Thunder does take out the Elbing, however. So now we're down 3-3. Three three. One DD against... I'm sorry, one DD and two BBs against one cruiser and two battleships. And one of the battleships is a Nebraska that's just kind of, you know, fine with chilling in the back. Ooh, that Trump is not very healthy. It's not looking too good. He's begging for intelligence data. We do have a Nebraska that does have the ability to spot wherever on the map. Nice shot on the Thunderer. 16k, that's enough to get high caliber out of the mix. Here's some HE from the Thunderer, and behold, it sets two fires. Imagine my bewilderment that a Thunderer Salvo set two fires. It still did like 11k in damage. What a surprise. Uh, Trump is dropping on the Thunderer. S Salvo out from Brusky on the Thunderer. Thunderer does manage to maneuver. It does have a 10 second rudder shift time. There's a Brindisi way out there, 21 kilometers away. Three fires on the bungo. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you hold your damage cone, because you never know when you're going to face a Thunderer and get three fires on your ship all at once. Hello, Ohio. Thunderer does have a preferable broadside. 
lets the guns go on the Thunders at 62k. They're down by 200 points at this moment. There goes the Trump, down by even more points. And 8,900 8, on the Thunderer. The Thunderer gives him some HE for the trouble. And whoo, that slows down to 14k HP at this moment. Does get a heal off. We're over 200,000 damage now at this point. Broadside Ohio right here. Nebraska, he's at least pushing up to where he can present a, a threat to the enemy team. Dead Ohio? Ooh, not so much. We can at least present a threat to the enemy team to where the enemy either has to go bow into him or bow into Brusky here in his bungo. It looks like for the moment they are opting to go bow into the Nebraska, who's still spamming HE, but at least, hey, they're bowing, so it's the proper munition choice at this moment. Let's the AP ride on the Ohio from 9 kilometers away. Dead Ohio. Dead Ohio is dead Ohio. 218k. Four kills done so far. Still is high caliber at the moment. So we, again, the Nebraska is at least drawing the fire from the enemy team. But Brusky is out of heals. He has 13,000 HP and a dream left. They're down by 200 points. Four minutes left on the clock. It is not looking good for Brusky and his team. Uh, the HE spamming, perhaps Bont Nebraska is again at least pushing up now. So they, the thing is, they have a you know almost full of Nebraska, but an almost empty um, bungo here up against a mostly full health Thunderer and a half health Brindisi. Really, that Brindisi, if he gets one good roll, he can one shot Brusky at this moment. That Thunderer is a massive threat, right? Because he can just absolutely chunk the living crap out of Brusky. He can go straight through his nose because the uh, of the 457mm guns of the Thunderer and the Thin Bow Armor of the uh, Bungo. Shoots a spotter plane up, sends a salvo of, H of HE of AP onto the Brindisi with the improved dispersion. There should be a dead Brindisi here, right? Ooh, almost 14k and Confederates. Uh, the Nebraska still spamming HE. The Nebraska is shooting, uh, sending his planes up. Ooh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Murder. Murder. Kill the Thunder. He's got his plane up. He's got the improved dispersion. This looks beautiful. This looks good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 61k to the broadside Thunderer. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Dev Strike. Well deserved there from clapping an almost full health Thunderer to not. Oh, that was downright therapeutic. And now we have one Brind Brindisi left. His spotter planes are still up. Nebraska is still spamming HE. So let's see, should be a dead Brindisi right there. We go down to the last couple of minutes. 303,000 damage done. Six kills. He has sunk half of the enemy team. <laughs> Who knew that the potentially bot Nebraska was going to come and clutch there at the end? And it's just a punching bag. All that Brusky needed him to be. Oh, man. Well, you're not running any economic bonuses. Oh, that sucks, dude. Oh, man. All right. Um, so, let's see. 2,800 base XP, six kills. Uh, you know, Big Daddy, 819. Hey, at least you, you know, got shot at. At least you didn't sit there back there the whole time. So, that is to be appreciated. I mean, truly, he could not have done it without uh, the Nebraska pushing up and at least presenting a target to the enemy team so you gotta give him that but yep high caliber fireproof kraken dreadnought confederate and of course dev strike beautifully well done brusky thank you for sending it in if you have anything like this you like to send to the channel you can check out the email link down below or you can send it in the community discord and ping me there Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment on the channel. Again, we'll be live streaming uh, this evening around 3 p.m.-ish U.S. Central Time to around 6 p.m.-ish, or we might go further than that if things are going well. So make sure to come out tonight for that. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and wonderful weekend. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.